something I like to do when I get really bogged down on maybe a certain type of drawing or something to that nature is I like to take an idea and do something with it. For example, I am a huge fan of Final Fantasy, which is a usually either it's post uh, like steampunk or very hyper modern, uh, futuristic or very classical fantasy RPG come from, coming from Square Enix. And what I decided to do is break down the essence of Final Fantasy. And you got certain types of characters. You have villainous characters. You also have mage. Usually you have a summoner and like a hero, a thief, like a brute or warrior character. There's like a couple of archetypes that we can break down. And I decided to do kind of uh, cartoonish versions of each one. So, and this is what this is. Now, in the previous video, I talked about using a yellow colored pencil to just kind of lay down some really simple guidelines. And then going back with the pen and just like working it. And that's kind of what I did here. You can kind of see that this is my, my main hero. He has like the Cloud Strife style buster sword thing, but one-handing it like a beast. And I call this my modern or punk fantasy. And essentially, I just kind of use like really simple lines, really simple designs, and using some just one color to accent different things. For example, the hat, the pants, and the hilt uh, of the sword and that kind of stuff. I don't know all the technical names. The the handle cover, I don't know what that is, the protection. And give him like a cool little look. And then you have here like the little warrior character. Let's see if we can get him in frame, there we go. And again, I just use yellow to kind of, and originally I had started with a totally different design. I don't know if you can see all these yellow markings underneath. And then just a really basic skeleton. And you can even see some of the skeleton lines and like a really basic line. And here's like a little square and just kind of go from there and again just keeping some motifs and then here down here we have a thief and I posted these a while ago on Instagram this is my thief character so he's using smaller weapons uh, looks like he has a much lighter build much more uh, like airy build but you can kind of see me working here in yellow working on the pose I couldn't really get it the way I wanted it at first even then it still doesn't look all that great I feel like this should be twist I don't know I feel like I, I don't know. I, I tried. That's how it feels like when I when I do it myself, but it just feels awkward. But yeah, let's keep going. My favorite character is usually the mage. So we have here like our mage character, and because it's Final Fantasy style, I kept the little pointed hat, gave him like a nice flowing scarf, and then like the nice staff and some little motifs here and there. Kind of the raggedy look, almost like Vivi from Final Fantasy IX. And here we have like a summoner. Needed a girl on the team, a love interest, so why not make her a summoner? That seems about average for a Final Fantasy game. And we usually have a Mog or a Moggle or a Moogle, whatever you want to call it. So I just kind of called it a magical pet and came up with my own. Kind of in the... you can see that these all feel like they belong to the same universe. Now, when I'm trying this kind of stuff, it doesn't always work out correctly. For example, the next one I'll show you is a failed attempt. I wanted to come up, what would be the villain? of a very uh, modern and punk and young group of kids trying to save the world. It would be a business guy. So I tried to come up with something like this, but this is terrible. This, this is just terrible. So I scrapped the idea. <clears throat> what would be another villain to a punk counterculture thing is a hipster. Uh, you know, hipster just completely negating their style of culture. And then probably one of these dude bro hit the gym 400 times a week, guys. Probably be good villainous characters. Um, <coughs> the smart guy, and then like the brutish dumb one, or maybe play on it. And, and again, it's just ideas. It's not something that I take and I run with it and I consider it like something amazing. Well, moving on. After that, I decided to do some drawings of some vehicles, because I'm not very good at vehicles. So I did just some quick drawings, again using yellow color pencil at first, and then coming in with a pen and just kind of shading stuff in and kind of etching stuff out. And you can kind of see that for some of these I started with a simple box shape and give it like a 3D box and try to fit the vehicle inside that box, or a side view is easier. Here again I started with a little box, and once again here, and I'm not very good at circles and cylinders and stuff, so working on all that. And then I decided I've been drawing too many mechs. 
time to do something organic. So I was working on dinosaurs, which I turns out I'm terrible at dinosaurs as well. Started with this one, hated it. Started with this one again, hated it, hated it. Here I didn't hate it as much, and here definitely didn't hate it as much, but still not intimidating. Again, none of these are really fantastic. And this is, uh, in order to remind myself of what I was doing wrong, I came up with a list of things that I find, like mistakes I find. Like, it's too boxy or too short, too long. I don't know what, what's really wrong with it. And then I kind of draw the construction lines. All of these started the same way, with a series of boxes. So I kind of drew them in right there. And then moving on, decided to trade up a little bit again, Just keep it fresh. So I did more mechs, uh, bicycles, mechs, and I like to do humans for comparison. This one is really bad. Um, and a little airplane. Don't really do airplanes very often. Um, I don't know what this says. Okay, uh, someone left me a message there, I guess. And next up, I did more dinosaurs, but from a different view, from a front view. This one came out okay, this one's not that bad, but again, always have these same mistakes. And the more you draw, the more you realize what those mistakes are, and you can put them into paper and like kind of cement them. So I decided to go back and do something I'm really comfortable with. I decided to draw Cloud from Final Fantasy VII, and drew him in his Shinra uh, helmet, and uh, I posted this one on Instagram. Uh, just a day when I didn't really feel like drawing, so I kind of just draw at least something on that day. So I drew that, kind of a waste of page, but that's okay. And worked on some Ninja Turtle. Love me some Ninja Turtles. And after this, I design was designing a postcard for my Etsy store. I want to give away like little postcards and things to people. So I designed a little character version of me, and this is the first one I came up with. A really simple character version of me. It's kind of like a caricature of what I look like. Obviously, I'm like fatter and like have you know horrible acne and gray hair, but sure, why not? And um, kind of typical clothing for me. And here's another one. And I drew these in, scanned them in the computer, and then retouched them a little bit, and then uploaded them to Vista Prints. So those postcards are on the way. And just kind of some ideas here. And then I went on to do more mechs. You can kind of see here, even more mechs. These I like a little bit more. Especially this one. I drew it in like a two-point perspective box. In other words, the lines teeter off like this, off to the sides. And then like the tall lines are all parallel. So the up and down perspective is linear, but these are like vanishing points off at a distance. And drew this kind of almost 3D mech. A lot of side views here, and then another 3D one here. This one came out pretty cool. And I like to add little numbers, just because, uh, I don't know why. I'm weird. Then I went back and did some more, wanted to do some more superhero stuff. So, drew some Aquaman. This eye is too high, it should be lower down a little bit, so it's level with this one. And once you've seen it, you can never unsee it. And then did a whole page of like just sketching random things, gestures, really quick sketches. Another page of some really bad mechs. Um, this one's okay, I guess. But I'm working a lot on joints and stuff like that, making sure I can do all that. And here are some more face studies. And this, this is actually a lot of information on one page. How I shade things, how I think about faces, like what goes down, what goes up, what goes flat all of that stuff and again it's always the same face but just different angles just practice over and over and I like to draw in the construction lines as well so you can see this one here has just construction lines this is how I would start a drawing or this and then this and this and you kinda see how I would progress from there went out to do some Martian Manhunter and some more ideas here so here's another one that I did the other day. Uh, I actually did this one yesterday. Started off as a quick pencil sketch of like a lion. I kind of start off with um, just some really rough ideas, rough shapes like these eyebrow shapes, like little triangles. And then this is also very triangular and kind of like an upside down trapezoid. And you got some triangles here, a triangle there, a triangle there, and like a little box down there. The ears are basically just triangles. 
and it looks really complicated when you look at it like this, but it's actually a really simple drawing. If you look at actually look stare at the line work, it's very simple line work. It's just some gestural lines, some really rough sketchy lines, especially in the ears. You can see that it's not not anywhere near as complex as you may think. But uh, I decided to do it watercolor style and I've been working with watercolor. I'm not very good at it, but what I decided to do is start off with just black and white watercolor. So it's a white page, uh, inked it all black um, on the outside, and then went in with black watercolor and just kind of did some pulling of the watercolor along where I thought the contours of the face would be, where I thought the darkest parts of the face would be, add the most black there, especially around the nose, did like a first layer, which is probably this lighter black, and then went back and added darker, so more black, and more and more and more. And then once all my black and whites were dry, then I go back and I add layers of different paints. For example, here I added browns and reds to give it this like dark burgundy look. And on this one I added a layer of orange on the actual face, a layer of orange, and then a layer of, of red and just again follow those contours but don't overthink it don't try to something that I have a hard time with is don't fight the paint just let it roll if the paint is gonna splash there this I would never allow this in a marker that would kill me to leave it there but in watercolor if you were to go back and try to fix that you would ruin the entire piece and then lastly once you get all the paints the way you want them everything's perfect go back with like a white jelly roller and uh, only on one side, I added like a little bit of white jelly roller, just kind of make some things pop, like the contours of the nose, the sides of the snout, um, just down here a little bit, this little area here, like the little pieces, and then just kind of some of the fur here. Make it pop, make it look cool. In the end, it's more about making it look cool than making it look realistic. So that's all that matters to me. So that's where I'm at. So now I'm working on Miss Martian, and if you've ever seen her true form, you know that she's a white Martian, um, and she, her true form is really gross and alien and creepy looking, and it's awesome. So uh, here are some quick, rough pencil sketches. Again, it's more gestures than anything else. I'm not trying to like get every single detail, where the little ribs are, where everything. It's just a lot of like really loose gesture lines, just kind of, I know she has like a little fin-like stuff here she has her little x thing and she's an alien you can't really tell it's a female or male i'm sure martians can tell but if i sound like you know a racist for aliens then i'm sorry but that's kind of where i am right now and uh, i'm gonna ink this and probably try to do some watercolor with it and then show you the end version once i'm finished all right, and as you can see, I finished this drawing off. It looks pretty cool. You can see some watercolor textures there. And again, I try to work very closely with making sure that I'm following the contours of the body. I'm not trying to fight the paint. I'm not trying to layer it on too thick. I went in first with black and white. So the page is white. The inking was black. I just went in with some black watercolor and shaded in all the shadowy areas, all the dark spots. And then went in with some reds, uh, very dark reds for some of those accents and for the X on her chest. And then finally went over it with a little bit of a lighter red watercolor just to give it like a gouache, a very simple uh, light colored wash. And then I went back into the actual background and just kind of did this smoky gray, which I don't think the camera picked up very well. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. If you want, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram or check out my Etsy store to see if there's any art you'd like to purchase. You can also check out last week's video by simply clicking on the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Take care.